We just bought a house that has to be hands down the creepiest house we have ever done. We're gonna decreepify this house, fix it up, turn around and flip it for a profit. We're excited to take you along for the entire journey. My name is Maylee Nelson, real estate agent and real estate investor. And I'm Mitch Nelson. I'm a real estate investor and a best-selling author. Together, we have over a decade of experience in real estate investing. We flipped dozens of homes and we have a multi-million dollar rental portfolio spanning the country. We met and fell in love through our shared passion of turning old rundown properties into something beautiful. Real estate investing has been an incredible journey for us and we're excited to take you along for the adventure. There's a bug on the ceiling. Oh. There's a bug on the ceiling. <laughs> so we're in Harrisville, Utah. Is this a really high-end neighborhood or is this a really low-end neighborhood? It's a really good question. When we first started flipping, we just wanted to flip one type of demographic of property. We were doing high-end properties, that was it. We've been investing for almost a decade now. We've really expanded our demographic that we flip in. So we do high-end flips, we do low-end flips, everything in between. And on these low-end flips like this one, it's really more of a splash and dash, lipstick on a pig type attitude. We're doing a little bit of framing downstairs. We're gonna finish that basement, which is going to increase our ability to sell the property for a, a higher value. So we're willing to invest a little bit to make an even bigger profit. But the rest of the house, we're gonna be leaving some of the stuff in the bathrooms, etc., just simply because it's a low end market. We're not gonna to have to reach too far to get buyers. If we did switch the tubs out and the toilets out and switch to all the bathrooms up, we wouldn't get our money back, right? And that's, that's the point with the low end homes. Don't spend money where you're not gonna get it back out. Exactly. <laughs> Right. Yeah. If you're gonna spend a dollar, you, be, you better be making a dollar fifty or two dollars. If you're only gonna exchange a dollar for dollar, just don't do it. Just leave the stuff there. We we'll really do up the kitchen, and then just creating a bunch of lighting in here. We'll really redo all of the siding on this house. It's really gonna give it a nice facelift. That's where we're gonna be spending our money. We're gonna be able to add a ton of value by putting two bedrooms in and an extra ba full bathroom in the basement. So that's where we're really pushing our Airbnb. It doesn't cost a lot to add bedrooms and it definitely doesn't cost a ton to add a full bathroom. It's just time and energy. It was horrifying, obviously, when we first picked it up, I right? saw those pictures. Terrifying, all the stuff that they left. And how horrible that they left the condition of the home, right? That's crazy that people live like that. The electrical has been a really big issue. So they've ripped out all the electrical you see in the garage and then the plumbing, they've also, you know, cut out a bunch of plumbing spots. So I think we're having a lot of plumbing and electrical issues. Really for this one, I think the biggest problem is staying on budget. We could easily go all out like we normally do, but we've got to be very conscious of our budget and stay under budget, right? So I think that's the key on this property and the hardest part is, just is being budget conscious. Being very budget conscious and right. being very like under budget, constantly like, what can we save? What can we save? What can we keep, right? Yep, <laughs> absolutely. I think that's Which, I think it's good practice for every fix and flip, right? Yeah. I mean, one of the most common mistakes we see new investors making is they just kind of go hog wild with what they spend and they end up spending way more than their budget allowed for, which means either you're going to drastically reduce your profit or even worse, you could lose money on the project. So if you're out trying to start this on your own, that's a mistake you need to avoid. The other thing is probably as you saw this walkthrough, right? And just like everyone else that we invite over here to walk you to look at the house, they always go, what are you gonna do with the backyard? And our answer is absolutely nothing. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna mow it down and that's exactly how it's gonna look. Part of it. We can get away with that in the morning. Right, we're not gonna get the money back. We could dump 20 grand in the backyard very easy. We're never gonna see that again. So we might as well just mow it down and call it good, right? Yep. <laughs> like we do not need have to a landscaper that. come over here once, pay him a hundred bucks and have it done. Yep. Well, that's probably more like a $400 job, but yeah. <laughs> pay him 400 bucks and have it done. <laughs>
<laughs> it's like an hour away from our house. So for us to come out here, we actually don't make it out here all that often. Um, you know, Steve comes up about once or twice a week to check on the, the, the progress. Um, but this has really been kind of a remote, a remote flip for us uh, because we don't want to make the, the, the two hour travel uh, commitment every week. So, um, you know, we're, we're here every now and then, but the nice thing is, is because of the systems that we have created and the systems that we have in place, we can do that and know that the work's getting done. Well, I can't wait to see this done. I'm really excited to see the next steps. We're excited to take you along the journey. All right, let's talk numbers. This one will be fun. This is a three bed, two bath house. We're finishing the basement and we will be adding two bedrooms and one bathroom to help us push value. The rest of this project is a simple cosmetic flip. Our plan is to replace the carpet and paint, doors, base and case, and redo the kitchen and the existing bedrooms. We purchased this property for 202,000, which is a great deal in this area. Our remodel budget is $70,000 on this project, and once it's all done, we plan to list it for $350,000. We're going to go check out some of the initial work that's been done on this project to make sure that everything's headed in the right direction. We'll be including you in every step of this project and sharing a little bit of knowledge along the way. So we'll see you there. All right, all right. We are here at our Harrisville property. I'm with Steve, our project manager, and we are, how far are we through? Quarter way. We're gonna see what we've changed so far, the layout, yep. the structure, and then still what needs to be done. This is a very get in, get out type fix and flip, so let's right. kind of keep the cost down, but also make it as nice as we can for the exactly. areas that we're in. All right, check this out. Come here. Look at this stuff. Holy I mean, you want that staring at you from your dresser while you're trying to sleep? Holy smokes. Hey, got an idea. Let's go scare the crap out of Maley. We don't change anything in here, which is nice. Well, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna add probably two or three more yeah, like surface lights on this side. You see, we got three over here. Uh huh. I'm gonna wanna put three more up here. Just do a jam there over the kitchen table. Perfect. This is just a really open space already. In order to have a nice open floor plan, we're cutting out walls and we're putting in beams. We don't have to in this no, place. I like that it's vaulted ceilings, it'll be easy to stage. Let's take a look at what we're gonna actually have to do. <laughs> Mitch Nelson! <laughs> that is so creepy! <laughs> do not do that to me. This was such an eyesore. <laughs> yeah, oh, the neighbors are going crazy. Oh. <laughs> up to me, Sam. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, all the time, yeah. And what is it gonna be done? Yeah, oh, yeah. what is it gonna be done? Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's my favorite part is just really being able to make a difference in a neighborhood, bringing value to the neighborhood. And then all the neighbors are gonna benefit because we're gonna raise their value yeah. of their home. Just yeah, simply by bringing everything up. So, mm -hmm. you know, like and subscribe, ring the bell. Let's take a look at the kitchen because of the four plan, right? We don't have a ton of rooms, so. <laughs> This plumbing has to be redone. Whoever did this plumbing before did some shortcutting and stuff. They didn't want to cut through these boards. So this piping is out, which makes it tougher to get the uh, cabinets in there because you got to cut the backs of the cabinets out just to get it in there. I've actually got the plumber. He's going to redo the lines and he's going to redo this venting so that it makes a little more sense. Once everything's torn out and then the plumbing's done, it just it happens real quick. Yeah, it starts happening after that. So I still got to get the subfloor pulled up here. I want to do laminate from the front door all the way through here. Ooh, yes. I don't want to transition right there. Which way are you gonna lay on? We're gonna go flow this way or we're gonna flow? It's gonna have to flow this way because otherwise if I do it this way, then this room is gonna look like railroad tracks this way. So I think it's gonna look a little better if yeah. the railroad track in here. Agreed. There you go, advice. Don't make it look like railroad tracks. Exactly. <laughs> don't want that. I'm leaving that there for the next contractor to walk in and poop their pants. It's probably gonna be Steve. Sorry, Steve. If there's any more dolls hidden around in this freaking house, I'm going to murder Mitch, just so <laughs> everyone is very clear. I'm actually gonna ask if you want to do a door or just leave it open there, but sometimes it works. I actually it. prefer it open. Leave it so that some you could, but I actually like that it keeps it open. In low end flips, we actually keep everything. Yeah, <laughs> Mitch, no! Whoever's watching, 
you can have it. There's just enough room to do a double sink. Oh, that's well, perfect. As a master, I think that's very right. helpful. I mean, it's yeah. pretty small. So this happened in one of the properties recently, and it just, it didn't work well. Can we have lights? At least one can light or some kind of light? I guess. Just because it's so dark. Yeah. You know, there's so only one light can. here. Yeah, we can put a recessed light up there in the center. Kind of light it up there, then you can see to wash your body. Obviously, there was a tile here. Yeah, there was this ugly tile. You can see it kind of was like that. It's very outdated. Yeah, so we're just going to put a wood window still on there. Oh, okay. Are we replacing the windows? We shouldn't have to. These will actually clean up. The yellow one looks kind of bad, but once it's cleaned up, then we can get the windows will close properly. Why do they have the... Is that just styling that's in between the panes. Yep. Why? It was in style it's... when this house was built. Why? 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 It was, it's called trends. This is a fantastic type project to start on because really it's just bathrooms, kitchen, framing some walls, and you're done. This is a great one for you guys to learn from if that's something that you're really excited about trying out for yourself. So this was basically kind of a wasted space. I mean, you could get to it from around the corner before. Yeah. Um, what a great option for storage though for, I mean, really, that's, that's, that's what I do. Laundry's over there. This can't be in the bathroom. So you move. So we're just literally gonna flip it around. When this is all done, the door will open up to about right there, and that will be vanity right there. Tub shower combo. Tub shower combo. Put it right here facing this way. Okay. And then. And this is bedroom number four. Love that we were able to open this up. So kind of a funky space, I, I get that, but really adding bedrooms, it doesn't matter what shape they are, is extremely important. Yeah. We didn't have to do any egress windows. Nope. That was a win, yeah, I think, yeah. on this one. This yeah. is a great walk-in closet. Any teenager would love to have this room. Check out the workout yes, here. Let's do it. It's stable. Yeah, it's, it doesn't shake anymore. All these replaced pieces, they were dog chew toys. This is a great porch though. Yes. I mean, really. You know, a nice neighbors. side yard out there. There is actually an RV access right there already. Ooh, good to know. This right here is a perfect example of why not to put your barbecue against the house. That's what this damage came from is they had their barbecue there and you can see it and they melted it out so they just took screws. Don't put your barbecue against your vinyl house. Pro tip five, from Steve. 500 degrees will definitely melt <laughs> the vinyl Don't siding. do this! So we're going to be re-siding this whole back side. Is that right? Yep. Yep. As well as swap room. Yep. I actually love when we do that, when we keep both. Yeah. Because people do like to add humidity in the summer. They, right, they yeah, do. because of the high desert, it gets so dry. Yeah. You know, a lot of people would just do that for cooling in the, in the summer. And it's cheaper. Yeah, it is. Some floors are cheaper. a lot cheaper. I mean, you're on these stairs, not a problem with some flat time. Steve! Between you and Mitch, I'm gonna die at this house. The roof looks great. It's already central air, so that's a win. How's the furnace? Ever? It works. It's keeping the place nice and warm. Yeah, it's, it's nice and warm in there. Yeah, it's not that old. Good no. enough. Yep. Good enough. Okay. You only make money when you purchase the project. Keeping that on the forefront of your mind and having a crew and having people that you can count on to stay under a budget and to give you an accurate number when you purchase. Numbers are key. Yeah, it's the only way to make this happen. So make sure to like and subscribe and check us out on social media as well. Hey, this is my girl, Carl Harley. She's three years old. And she's with me all the time. Ah, yes, she is. She, yes, she likes is. to ride around in the truck with me and she gives me input on the houses, whether everything's done right or not. Cause she knows. <laughs> yeah, she's the yeah. resident inspector. She's a resident inspector. That's who she is. So and you do a good job, done, you pretty girl. Good girl. All right, so we just found out that the sheetrock is done, and they're about to paint. So let's go in and check it out. So one of the problems that we've been facing with this is it's taken us a little longer because materials 
are held up due to coronavirus. That's right. Not only just production, actual people, you know, that are actually doing the work. Didn't you tell me that the window company actually said that they're out of glass? Like yeah. you couldn't get glass because of COVID? <laughs> yep, yep. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yep. So all the glass has glass. COVID. All the yeah, glass. It all has COVID, yep. We've actually had to push out our, our finish date because getting materials, getting labor, it's all been pushed out. Right. So we've had to adapt, right? I mean, now instead of flips taking us four to five months, they're taking six, seven months. A big part of that is you have to adapt. We've right. got to adapt to what the market's right. doing. We've got to adapt to pandemics. Mm-hmm. We've got to d- adapt to politics. And being adaptable is what I think has uh, allowed us to stay in the game when a lot of others have exactly. have kind of well, know, fallen off. People always go, why did you turn down so many deals? Well, because there's not exit strategies on those deals. Yep. And, right. and that's as simple as that. Yep. So yep. You never get into a flip with only one way yeah. out. Yeah, yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you get in one way out, you're stuck. All right, cool. He's got to come back. You still got to put the hand on the wall. There's no hand on the So, shh, don't tell me. This one's different. She thinks that one's different, but that's not the one. Hold on. Three that are different. Three that are different. There's three that are in place. Well, and that's the crazy part. So, when we first got the house, we are like, oh, no, you're on this piece of railing. Right? Yeah, and where am I, I going to find this? Yeah, I was like, oh, well, in the bread by itself, like, too grand, you know? We're like, oh, okay, well, I like it. Okay, let's look outside. This is a charcoal bread. Yep, that's, uh, well, it's actually, it's graphite. Graphite. It's the technical color okay. for it. So pretty. You can see it. You can see it right <laughs> You see, this right here is how we paint in Utah. <laughs> because, you know, it's snowing, but you can still paint. It actually was attached to the roof, but there's so much weight from the snow that it's pulled it down. Right now, the market's doing really well. We kind of we kind of anticipated a little bit of a dip because of the coronavirus pandemic. At least where we are in, in Utah along the Wasatch Front, we've seen nothing but good things come from the market. You just have to adapt. Right now, it's doing really well, but we structure every deal so that we can potentially turn it into a rental in case something happens. Good afternoon. Okay. <laughs> so, how come we didn't do viral on the stairs? Well, because it's a lot cheaper to do carpet than it is to do the LVP. Also, sound-wise, going up and down the stairs, mm. you don't get trampling kids up and down the stairs. I mean, you still, you, dogs. you know, yeah. and dogs, you know. This closet over here, which we have no light to, so I had him build three shelves in there. <gasps> oh, I love that. She's like, oh, I couldn't even see it. I couldn't, I love that. Right off the laundry, that yeah. is so nice. Yeah. So there'll be a light up, as you can see, there'll be a light up there and a light here. So it'll be really nice and bright. Be a great and sound. actually the last two jobs paid for these shelves because we got more shelves left over than we had actually needed to put in. I love it. So, That's why we buy in bulk. That's right. bulk. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe we should be doing that in every, like should somehow be. try to do like a storage right off the laundry. That's smart. Yeah, Comment below if you like the storage I did. What about that light? Are we replacing that or are we keeping it? I thought you liked that light. Don't necessarily love it, absolutely not. But do we need to replace it? It's kind of one of those. I'm replacing all the lights. Oh, okay. <laughs> A lot of people look at investing as gambling, and it's really not. No. I mean, gambling's on one end of the spectrum where you have no control of the outcome. Right. Yeah. Whereas investing, you know, we by by setting up multiple exit strategies, by controlling all of, as many of the elements as we can, um, you know, we, we protect ourselves. When you're gambling, there's always a chance that you're going to lose. When you're a high do- chance, a high, high <laughs> chance, yeah, because it, it's stacked against you. you know, yep. you know? But when you're doing a flip and you do it the right way with multiple exit strategies. You're always gonna win. Plan. Plan for Have it. A plan. Have plan. A plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did it. We're done. This has been an amazing project. You know what? We were able to get rid of those creepy dolls and despookify this house. So let's go check out what we did. It's time to put it on the market and make some money. Let's do it.
Wow, this is so beautiful. Yeah, this turned out really nice. Oh. That's awesome. Our original ARV was 350. What do you think now? What are we gonna be able to list it for? I think we're gonna list it for 375. Nice. We have a $25,000 bump from the market. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, Good. absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, that boosts our profit, too. You know, it did take us an extra couple of months, I think, because of, of COVID pushing back our supplies and whatnot. But, I mean, if we can make an extra twenty-five grand, that will more than make up for the extra holding costs. And... That series is, you know, growing, and I didn't really expect it to grow as fast as it is. So it was a great little find, even though this was just a little, you know, low-end flip. Wow, that turned out so good. Yeah, this kitchen turned out amazing. You know, it was disgusting before. And this is night and day difference. This is gonna be a great kitchen for whatever family buys this house and moves into it. Super functional, you know, you have that nice dining area and you have, you know, still enough space here that you can do whatever you need to, you know. Like this is great for an alley kitchen, this is great. Isn't that nice? That's a nice master. Yeah, really decent size. I love that it's facing the mountains. Like you get to wake up every morning and look at the mountains. Yeah, this is great. And then the bathroom turned out really great. The master walk-in closet turned out fantastic. Wow. Remember how nasty this bathroom was? I mean, it turned out amazing. And look how well it cleaned up. I mean, this is awesome. Ooh. You know, this was that creepy doll room. This is the doll room. Ah! And this is where they all were, right here in this closet. Well, everywhere, we right? Got rid of them. <laughs> They're gone. You know, I don't even feel like it's the same space though, because it's half the room, right? Because we put a room, a bedroom right there. So, yeah. because it shrunk the room so much, and it's so bright, and you know, the carpet, it just feels so good down and here. No dolls. And no creepiness <laughs> at no all. Creepy dolls. <laughs> We saved the house, so you know, there's no creepy energy. We hired an exorcist. Yeah. <laughs> this house is clear. This house is clear. <laughs> well, this feels good, this looks good, it's clean. Better energy. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing was this house was so disgustingly dirty. Mm -hmm. Like it's just clean now. It feels like a new house. Absolutely. So, so beautiful. I think well done. Yeah. All right, let's get to the good stuff. The final numbers, here we go. We purchased this property for $202,000. We spent $83,000 on the renovation project and our holding costs came in around $25,000. We used other people's money to do this deal, so this is essentially the interest paid back when we were done, as well as insurance, property tax, and utilities. Closing and agent costs were about $36,000, and we sold it for $421,000 because of the awesome job that Maley did marketing this property. Our total profit on this deal came in at about $75,000. Maley was also the agent on this deal, so we got to recoup some of those closing costs in the form of agent commissions, which is part of our overall strategy, but that's beyond the scope of this video. If you're interested in flipping your own house or picking up rental properties, check out and subscribe to our other more boring channel, Flippin' Sexy Real Estate Education. Link in the top right of the screen and in the description. We've uploaded over a hundred amazing videos where we share our in-depth secrets of real estate investing. It's all taught by us, as well as other trusted professionals that we use in our own business on a daily basis. The course covers tons of relevant topics, from building a wealthy mindset, to finding properties, raising funding, flipping, rentals, wholesaling, you name it. You can also catch recordings of our weekly real estate investing Zoom call called Ask Mitch Anything, where you can get direct access to me and Maley, which is a huge help if you're starting out in real estate. Check it out. Just click on the link in the description and start learning. Well, this was a fun, creepy, dirty, weird project, <laughs> but in the end, I mean, we thought it was gonna be a, kind of a base hit for us and it turned out being a home run because of this one. Well done marketing this property. You got a $46,000 above asking price offer. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not complaining. We didn't stay to the house. Basically, right when we were, I was running comps, right, getting ready to list it, and we were kind of running at a time as well, right? Our cleaning ladies, like everything was just buttoned up against our timeline. And 
by the time we were gonna stage it, we would have been another two, three weeks out. And I went, you know what? The market, it doesn't need it. Like, it will sell without staging. It's just mm -hmm. fine. And it sure did. Saves us, what, three grand? Yeah, and time, you know, a lot of yeah. effort. And um, not that three grand isn't the point, it's the feeling, right? Like, I want people to have a feeling when they walk into one of our homes of like, I have to have this, but they have to have it anyway, with or without my staging right now, <laughs> so. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's a supply and demand problem, so. Well, that's all we've got for you in this episode. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please support the channel by smashing that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you're notified next time we upload some amazing content. Check us out on social media. Our handle is FlippinSexyRE on all of these amazing social media platforms that you see on your screen. If you wanna see more amazing before and after fix and flip videos, check out the video that's on your screen right now. And until next time, we'll see you soon, sexy people. Catch you on the flip side. See you later. Hit that notification bell so you know next time we upload a before and after fix and flip thingamabobber. Thingamabobber? No. Okay. We love you all, you flipping sexy people. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah. And this too. Peace out. Hey, Tim. <laughs>